हेलो एवरीवन टुडे क्लास नंबर टेन फॉर योर इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन टू ओके सो टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट द न्यू मॉड्यूल दैट इज इंडक्शन मशीन ओके इंडक्शन मशीन तो इन दिस मॉड्यूल थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर हैव बीन टॉट एक्चुअली सो इंडक्शन मशीन हैव टू पार्ट सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मशीन एंड थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मशीन ओके इन योर सिलेबस बोथ टू मशीन आर देयर बट uh within this module the detailing of this module actually deep, uh, uh, is in three phase induction machine part so three phase induction machine again classified into two categories three phase induction generator and three phase induction motor so we, this is not in syllabus so in case of your three phase induction motor have to learn over this module so it is better to um, do some heading that is three phase induction motor okay so do do some heading three phase induction motor okay so before write this three phase induction motor write something about the ac machine so this is the concept this is the starting point of ac machine okay this is the starting point of ac machine so to before start this three phase induction machine write something over here so write with the with the almost universal adoption right with the almost universal adoption of ac system with the almost universal adoption of ac system of distribution of electrical energy for light and power with the almost universal adoption of ac system of distribution of electrical energy for light and power the field of application of the field of application of ac motor has widened considerably during recent years that means in recent three phase induction motor is very much popular why because uh, universally ac system is being accepted okay so as a result motor manufacturers have tried over the last few decades to perform various types of ac motors suitable for all classes of industrial drives okay and for both single and three phase ac supply <coughs> so there is a uh, tendency of manufacture any system that will operate on ac both single phase and three phase okay so this has given rise this has given rise to multiplicity of types of whose proper classification often offers considerable difficulty so there are different ac motors may however be classified and divided into various groups form as follows different points of view so actually there are lots of classifications are there in case of a three phase induction motor okay
Now write construction of construction of three phase induction motor. Right. <clears throat> And three phase induction motor consists of and three phase induction motor consists of <coughs> Roman one stator and Roman two rotor. Okay, so there are for every uh, like every motor there are two types that is uh, two types of constructs two types of uh, arrangement that is stator arrangement and rotor arrangement. Okay. So rotor have two classifications. Rotor have two classifications. First one is squirrel cage rotor. And second one is phase wound rotor. Okay, these are the classification of rotor. So what is what is stator contains? Stator contains yoke. Stator contains pole. Stator contains wind. Okay. So stator contains yoke. Stator contains pole. Stator contains winding. Okay. And pole contains pole house. Pole contains pole house and pole shoe so pole contains pole house and pole shoe so write some sentence about this one first okay so what is yoke right roman one yoke right yoke is the outside structural ring like structure outside ring like structure or peripheral ring like structure Yoke is peripheral ring like structure that protect that protects from external damage that protects from external damage that is This is your yoke. Okay. That protects from external damage. As well as provide a path. So this is the most important point of yoke. Now I am telling. As well as it provides a fla magnetic flux path through it. So it provides a magnetic flux path through it. That is a, a magnetic flux can easily flow through this path. Okay, so this is your yoke and pole. Second one is pole. Right? Over the yoke, over the yoke, poles are installed. Over the yoke, poles are installed. As it is a, as it is a three-phase induction motor, poles are always three in, number of poles are always in 3n order number of poles are always 3n order now i am taking now i am taking three three pair of poles okay I am taking considering three pairs of poles. So these are the poles. And third one. Okay. So next right within this pole. Pole consists of two parts. Pole consists of two parts. Pole house and pole shoe. This section. This section is pole house. 
and this section is cold shoe. This is cold shoe. Pole house, pole house holds the windings. Pole house wow, holds the windings while pole shoe shoes are used to distribute the flux generated by the winding. Pole shoe used to distribute the flux generating by windings. Okay. So pole shoe is used to distribute the flux. Okay. Used to distribute the flux. Okay. Now whatever the flux is uh, generating, it will try to distribute. Okay. Throughout the air gap. So this is the nature of uh, work done. Uh, importance of pole shoe and pole house actually holds the conductor. Okay. Over the pole house there is a conductor that is installed. Okay. So next right third one con winding. Windings. Right. Field windings are installed over the pole house. Field windings are installed over the pole house. Field windings are installed over the pole house to carry to carry field currents to generate the field flux. To carry the field current to generate the field flux. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so this is all about of your stator part. Okay, this is all about of your stator. So now I will move into the rotor part. Stator part is very easy and now it is rotor part. So rotor means what? Inside the air gap there will be a cylindrical structure called rotor. Okay, there is a cylindrical structure called rotor. rotor. So right, so this rotor consists of some rotor conductors. So every rotor I am taking commonly, so no need to write, no need to write separately, so take it as common. Rotor consists of shaft. Okay, so before shaft, rotor house. Rotor consists of rotor conductors. Rotor consists of end ring. or non tray end ring it will be uh, comes with the rotor conductor also okay rotor house or you can say core also okay rotor high house or you can write core also and shaft commuter segment okay so actually rotor looks like Separately, I am drawing the rotor.
ओके ओके दिस इज लुक्स लाइक अ रोटर सो रोटर कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ रोटर हाउस सो दिस सिलिंड्रिकल सेक्शन इज कॉल्ड रोटर हाउस और रोटर कोर ओके सो इट इज अ हॉलो सिलिंडर रोटर कोर इज अ हॉलो सिलिंडर सो राइट रोमन वन रोटर हाउस इट इज अ हॉलो सिलिंडर over where over which it is a hollow cylinder over which the conductors are installed so another one is conductor okay rotor conductor i have already written right right okay so rotor conductor is next right rotor conductor this is a rotor conductor right rotor conductors are installed over the slot of the armature this is a slot of armature over which the rotor conductors are installed and which are right which are permanently short circuited yes see this green color section uh, lines permanently short circuited rotor bars are permanently short circuited on themselves by two end rings okay for squirrel cage rotor for squirrel cage rotor and for phase one rotor there are a slip ring arrangement okay so for squirrel cage rotor they are rotor con this, this is only difference uh, conductors are conductor in terms of bar okay conductors in terms of bars conductors are short circuited by two end rings and here slip ring arrangement rotor conductors are installed through slip ring arrangement through through slip ring arrangement okay so next shaft shaft is this is called shaft this is called shaft okay and this one is looks like here it is a cross section figure so that's why it is looking like here so this is a commutator right this is shaft this is shaft this is commutator this is armature house commutator this is armature house this is the conductors this is the conductors okay so shaft what is the need for shaft what is the importance of shaft shaft is used to rotate the armature is used to rotate the armature by connecting by connecting this is a sign for mechanical coupling okay this sign of mechanical coupling by turbine t so turbine actually rotates the more uh, induction generator actually but here it is induction motor so it will be basically a flywheel a flywheel or a blade for fan also it is it looks like a blade so it is a fan like structure so it will rotates right so it is blade so there is a mechanical coupling in between uh, this armature to the external rotating substances okay so this is called your mechanical coupling this is called this sign is called mechanical coupling okay so and commutator segment this commutator segment actually is used in generator to collect the current coming from the armature okay or to give the current from to the armature so this commutator segment is not important for your uh, motor purpose it will only applicable for generating purpose but here i am making make it general so commutator is a commutator segment is used to 
collect the current from armature in case of your generating operation in case of generating operation in case of generating operation sometimes induction motor can also act as generator sometimes induction motor can act also acts as generator and that situation and that condition this commutator have a role okay so otherwise commutator has no role over here okay so this is the uh, construction of armature and there are external some external components are required so write external component external component first one right fans right light aluminium fans light aluminium fans are used for are used for adequate circulation of cooling air adequate circulation of cooling air and are securely keyed and securely keyed K E Y E D kid onto kid onto this rotor shaft. That means what fans are actually used to cool down the magnet. This motor, okay. There is a tendency of increasing of your of uh, heat energy, so it will uh, used to uh, cool down the rotor heat generator heat heat rotor heat, okay. And second one, right, slip ring. Slip rings, right? Slip rings are made of high quality phosphor bronze. High quality phosphor bronze and are molded construction. Okay, and are molded constructions. There was ventilator grill and third one ventilator grill. So ventilator grill is, grill is used to circulate the air when it is needed. So circulation of air when it is needed. So, so ventilator grill is very much important to eliminate the heat from the motor by utilizing the fan. Okay, by utilizing the fan. So this is all about the construction of three-phase induction motor. Next day I will start the operating principle of three-phase induction motor and uh, there are lots of the theories are there. Okay, so today's class up to this much. Thank you. Okay.